Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about no slope and zero slope. All right. So the first two pages you're going to follow along with me for the notes, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and at the end you can see how you did. So before we talk about uh, no slope and zero slope, let's talk about the type of slope that you're familiar with already. So here, if you notice the red line, okay, this shows a positive slope, right? And then the green line shows a negative slope. So a positive slope has a positive value and a negative slope has a negative value. All right. And again, just a reminder what slope is. Slope is the change and the y values over the change and the x values. All right, so again, slope is the change in the y values over the change in the x values, all right? And if you have two points like this, 3, 5, and 7, 7, remember, you can use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, all right, to determine the slope. So let's do this real quick. So uh, the 3 is our first x, and the 5 is our first y, the 7 is our second x, and the seven is also our second y, all right? So if I do y2 take away y1, seven take away five, and then if I do x2 minus x1, seven take away three, so seven take away five is two, and seven take away three is four, and that reduces down to one half, okay? And one half is a positive number, so we know this is going to be a, an upward looking slope, all right? It's, it's going to be a positive slope. So hopefully all this looked pr pretty familiar to you. So now let's focus on two new types of slope. All right, if you turn the page. So here we have something called zero slope and no slope. And zero slope is a line that's horizontal, all right? There's no rise to it at all. All it is is just a straight line across. And one easy way to remember this is, Look at the letter Z. Okay, letter Z has a line that goes straight across, right? And also one right here. So this line, which is horizontal, has zero slope. If this was a ride at, say, some roller coaster, it'd be the boringest ride ever because it, all it is is just flat. Okay, there's zero slope, zero fun. But more importantly, let's try to figure out what happens when we use the Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 to get the to get the slope. So here we have two points and we have point negative three and three and we have point two and three. So I'm gonna do uh, y2 take away y1 so it's gonna be three minus three. Hmm. So three take away three over two minus negative three. And that ends up with zero in the numerator and five in the denominator, all right? And this right here, I'm gonna put a star next to it. This right here, having a zero in the numerator, okay, is a sign that it's gonna be zero slope. So let's actually write that in that little box there. All right, so we're gonna say zero in the numerator. Now let's take a look at the no slope. And notice this slope is just a vertical line. This is like a drop, okay? If this was a ride, it wouldn't be much fun because you're dropping. So again, if we use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, let's use two points. Let's use a point here and say a point here. So this point, the first point is gonna be two and three. So we have point two and three. And the one underneath it looks like it's two and one. So when I subtract the y's, it's gonna be one minus three over, when I find the uh, difference of the x's, it's gonna be two take away two. And if you notice this time, the numerator is negative two, but the denominator is a zero. And again, that's a key characteristic of, a, uh, of no slope, okay, is the zero 
in the denominator. Zero in the denominator. And there it is. All right. So one last thing about no slope. Okay, this is also called undefined. An undefined slope. So sometimes a teacher might use the term no slope, okay, or they might use the term undefined. Uh, in this case, it's, it's the same thing. So now that you have a good understanding about zero slope and no slope, why don't you pause the video, okay, and try the your turn, pro your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do on these practice problems. So it says, determine the type of each slope represented. It's either gonna be positive, negative, zero, or no slope. Well, this first slope is increasing, right? It's going up the hill. So this is gonna be a positive slope. Uh, the second one is going downhill. Okay, so that's a sign that's gonna be a negative slope. Now this one, we need to use the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so that's gonna be eight take away seven over five minus five. And notice our denominator, right, is a zero, okay? So when it, the zero is in the denominator, remember that's a no slope or undefined. This one here, we have a horizontal line so remember, this would be zero fun if it was a ride. Okay, so this is a zero slope. Uh, here again, we need to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's gonna be six take away six over three minus four. And six take away six is zero. And three minus four is negative one, all right? And this time, the zero is in the numerator so that one is gonna be a zero slope. And last but not least, we have a vertical line straight up and down. And again, this would be a drop if it was a ride, right? So this one has no slope or it's undefined. Or undefined. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?